Hey everybody, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. I am here today with a, an unboxing from Cora Create Crafts. This is the monthly vintage subscription box. This is my sixth one that I've received. Started in June, I think June, maybe it was July. July, August, September, October, November, December. July, started in July with English countryside, which so far has been my absolute favorite. Every month I open one up with you and I do a one page spread in this book. And so you can see, um, this is like my title page and I have gone through November. I have December and I have enough left, I think, because I haven't finished this was last month's, and so I have one, two more to do, and then three, and then an extra. So what I do is the first page, I can only use what's in the box plus some ink. And um, I do that with you on camera. This will be my last unboxing, not that I am stopping my subscription, I'm not. I just think after six months, if you are interested in doing a subscription box from Core Create Crafts, you have enough to look at with my six videos to decide if this is for you. This subscription box is the vintage subscription box and it goes monthly and it's 30 something dollars a month and they bill you you can either do a monthly subscription, you could do um, every three months, every six months, and then maybe a year, I don't know. I do every three months. So it renews and then my uh, account gets charged for three months worth of subscriptions. So let's open this up and see what's inside. All right, so. As always, there is a card in the front that tells you who it was packed by, and this month it was Anne. And again, we are talking about Core Create Crafts, and you can find them at corecreatecrafts.com. I am not affiliated with them, I'm just a customer, and I enjoy her products. I think the products are high quality, um, very detailed, and um, the colors are beautiful. All right, so the theme this month is vintage stores and bookshops. And these are all of the things that are included in the box. And our next theme will be for January will be carnivals and fairs. I love the tissue paper and I typically use the tissue paper in my collage. All right, so this one is already, this one's ripped. I don't like it when it's ripped because I like my tissue paper. All right, so let's open it up. All right, so one of the, the first, um, say ingredient, that's not right. The first piece is bibliophile washi tape. So let's see. And then the other one is Victorian storefront transparent tape. So that's good. This one has to be the washi. So this is bibliophile washi tape. And I was looking to see, I know with the advent box that we did the opening, they had some pieces that were um, in collaboration with other designers. And so I just want to make sure I note that. All right, let's see the washi tape. It's nice and thick. It's an inch and a half wide. It's 10 meters long. And it is, let's try not to get the glare. It is different books. There you go. Very pretty. The colors are vibrant. That's the word I wanted to use, but not on this particularly. This is more subdued. So very nice, very nice washi tape with books. 
And then the second washi tape is Victorian Storefront. And this is a transparent tape. And it doesn't say in collaboration with anybody. So um, we're going to open this up. Um, see if I can find the beginning. There it is. All right. I'm really liking this one so far, and I've only seen a couple of pieces. Look at the colors in this one. So this is transparent tape. And it's the storefronts. So let's see how many storefronts before, let's see if I can get out of the glare. How many storefronts before we get a repeat? That's three. Look how pretty that one is. Four. Five. That looks like the one at Universal right before you get to Diagon Alley. Oh, look, this is the same one without the thing. Am I repeating? Oh, I am. I'm repeating. So about five. One, two, three, four, five. About five before they start repeating. But again, very pretty. Very detailed. Different colors. Not all the same. So that's kind of nice too. All right. So Victorian storefronts. And it is a transparent tape. All right, so our next item included in this is uh, a clear stamp set. And it is Vintage Shops. Make sure I have the right one, because sometimes they'll have two of something. Vint vintage Shops Clear Stamp. Now, I love Cora Create Crafts. Um, clear stamps because I find them very detailed and they stamp well. Okay, so we need a white background for this. The bookshop and then it looks like bottles, some different bottles. The cat, ballerina, um, jewelry box, typewriter, um, bakery sign, and it says Vintage Store Victrola. Is, did I say that right? All right, so that's the stamps. They're beautiful, and I love the papers that they come in because I usually use these images when I do um, a collage as well. All right, so the next one is the Shop Vouchers Deco Pad. And that's a foam stamp, so that's not it. This must be it. Shop vouchers. Um, deco pad. There we go. So, and it's kind of, it just says to... Ballot into until the 31st of December 1899. Oh, so they're different ones. Antiquarian book repository. Oh, this is really cute. I like this vintage shop, and then it starts to repeat. All right, very nice. All right, shop sign sticker sheet and. Shops and bookstores sticker sheet. So there's two, well, several of these. Okay, shops and bookstores. There we go. Look at those colors. Look at the details. And then this is the shop signs. Oh, I really like this page. Okay, so this one I'm liking kind of as much as um the English the English countryside. Look how pretty that is. All right, so that was shops and bookstores. No, this is the shop signs and sticker sheet. 
sheets, shop signs, shop and bookstore sticker sheet. I guess that's that. And then we have, oh, oh, okay. So those are the two sticker sheets. Very nice. And then we have old shops card set. And there are four of these. Now, none of these are stickers. Sometimes I'll do stickers. So we have this shop right here. Very nice. Oh, and look, a candy shop. Look how pretty that is. And then this looks like an apothecary kind of herbal herb herbalorium or something like that. And then um, antique shop. So there you go, antique. You get as I was reading. So let me make sure you got a good look. You have a good look at these. The candy. These are beautiful. Candy shop's my favorite because of the pinks in there. And vintage boutique. All right. All right. So those are the cards. And then there are a book, no, a book of old foam stamp. So this is what it says on the front. Foam stamp, book of old. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, I think we're, we're going to have to stamp with this. I can see that right now. All right, book of old, and there it is right there. So, I was trying to feel it. Oh yeah, we're gonna use that on our first page. And then our washi tape, our stickers, our um, notepad, and I think that's it. All right, there you go. There is Vintage Stores and Bookshops, December 2023. All right, I'm going to get my ink out. I'm going to get this ready to go. And let's put some of this together in a nice collage.
And there you go. There's my collage all finished. My first one. Now, if you've seen any of my open boxings, you know that my subsequent collages, I do allow myself to add in other pieces. So it doesn't have to just be the things out of the kit. So um, that is just kind of my own little game I play in making these collages. All right, so that's it. This is vintage stores and bookshops. And I have to tell y'all, um, I really, 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 really like this box. I had fun making the collage, no issues. And um, hopefully y'all will give Core Create Crafts a look, a look at <laughs> on her website and um, you know, see for yourself some of these wonderful things that she has to offer. All right, guys, that's it. Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you after the holidays. Bye.